Good day, guys. I'm here continuing with the reading of the book, The Great Controversy. Um, this is a book that I would deeply recommend that we read. The reason being is because it explains in details what we are to expect in the last days. The details of that is found in Revelation, of course, but many of us don't really understand the different symbols like the dragon and, you know, all those, some people call it scary stuff. But it's... If you're scared of that, then you could read this book because it explains what each symbol means. All right, so we're going to continue. This is part three of chapter 39, which is the time of trouble. The time of trouble. Now, though the rulers of this world know it's not, yet often in their councils, angels have been spokesmen. Human eyes have not looked upon them. Human ears have listened to their appeals. Human lips have opposed their suggestions and ridiculed their counsels. Human hands have met them with insults and abuse. In the council hall and the court of justice, these heavenly messengers have shown an intimate acquaintance with human history. They have proved themselves better able to plead the cause of the oppressed than were their ablest and most eloquent defenders. They have defeated purposes and arrested evils that would have greatly retarded the work of God and would have caused great suffering to his people. In the hour of peril and distress, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Psalm 34 verse 7. With earnest longing, God's people await the tokens of their coming king. As the watchmen are accosted, what of the night? The answer is given unfalteringly. The morning cometh, and also the night. Isaiah 21, 11 and 12. Light is gleaming upon the clouds above the mountain tops. Soon there will be a revealing of his glory. The sun of righteousness is about to shine forth. The morning and the night are both at hand, the opening of endless day to the righteous, the settling down of eternal night to the wicked. As the wrestling ones urge their petitions before God, the veil separating them from the unseen, unseen seems almost withdrawn. The heavens glow with the dawning of eternal day, and like the melody of angel songs, the words fall upon the ear. Stand fast to your allegiance. Help is coming. Christ the mighty, sorry, Christ the almighty victor holds out his weary soldiers a crown of immortal glory. And his voice comes from the gates ajar. Lo, I am with you. Be not afraid. I am acquainted with all your sorrows. I have borne your griefs. You are not warring against untried enemies. I have fought the battle in your behalf, and in my name you are more than conquerors. The precious Savior will send help just when you need it. The way to heaven is consecrated by his footprints. Every thorn that wounds our feet, that wounds our feet, has wounded his. Every cross that we are called to bear he has borne before us. The Lord permits conflicts to prepare the way for peace. The, sorry, the Lord permits conflicts to prepare the soul for peace. The time of trouble is a fearful ordeal for God's people, but it is a time for every true believer to look up and by faith he may see the bow of promise encircling him. The redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass? And forgettest the Lord thy maker, and hath feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if you were ready to destroy. And where 
is the fury of the oppressor. The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea, whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name, and I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand. Isaiah 51, 11 to 16. Therefore hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine, thus saith the Lord thy God, and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have took, taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went forth went over verses 21 to 23 the eye of god looking down the ages was fixed upon the crisis which his people are to meet when earthly powers shall be arrayed against them like the captive exile they will be in fear of death by starvation or by violence but the holy one who divided the red sea before israel will manifest his mighty power and turn their captivity they shall be mine saith the lord of hosts in that day when i make up my jewels i will spare them as a man spirit his own son that serveth him malachi 3 verse 17 if the blood of christ faithful witnesses were shed at this time it would not like the blood of the martyrs be as seed sown to yield a harvest for god their fidelity would not be a testimony to convince others of the truth for the abhorrent obdurant heart has beaten back the waves of mercy until they return no more if the righteous were now left to fall a prey to their enemies it would be a triumph for the prince of darkness says the psalmist in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. Psalm 27 verse 5. Christ has spoken. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Isaiah 26, 20 and 21. Glorious will be the deliverance of those who have patiently waited for his coming and whose name are written in the book of life. Thank you. Amen.